Hi, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be continuing with our basketball skills. And we are on, I think, our last skill. Uh, we are on basketball rebounding now. All right, so rebounding in basketball. A rebound is when a player gains control of the basketball after a shot is missed. After the ball bounces off the rim or backboard, you need to grab the ball to get a rebound. So a rebound is when you grab the ball after it hits the rim or backboard, um, and a shot. it is a shot that is missed. It hits the rim or backboard, and then you grab it, and that is how you get a rebound. Rebounding is one of the ways that you can transition from defense to offense. So if you're on defense and the other team shoots the shot, then you can get a defensive rebound. And then when you have the ball, your team's now on offense. So then you get the rebound and you go the other way. So defensive rebound versus offensive rebound. Also, I would like to act, or uh, I would like to also put in uh, rebounding is one of the ways that you can transition from defense to offense. Other ways are like steals or blocks, stuff like that. But back to uh, our comparison here. So defensive rebound versus offensive rebound. Um, a defensive rebound is obviously when you're on defense, and that is when they miss the shot and you grab the ball so that your team is now on offense. So a defensive rebound is getting the rebound when your team was on defense. Offensive rebound is when your team is on offense. Your team shoots the shot. And maybe your teammate misses, but you are there to grab an offensive rebound. So you're giving your team another chance to try and score when you grab an offensive rebound. That's very important because the more possessions your team has, the more likely you are going to win the game. Positioning is very important when trying to get rebounds. Um, so we're going to talk about something called boxing out, and that's going to be very important with positioning. Watching the ball flight when it goes towards the hoop, um, getting an idea of where the ball is going to go off the rim or off the backboard is important in determining where the ball will go so you can set yourself up in the best position to get the rebound. So boxing out. This is an essential skill to be a consistent rebounder. So our boxing out cues. Number one, you want to locate your opponent when the shot goes up. You look at the shot, then you locate the opponent, and you want to make contact with your opponent. You want to get low, and you want to use your whole body. So you want to use your bottom, and you want to use your arms, and you want to kind of box that person out so that they can't get around you. Um, then you want to move towards the ball once you're in good position. Once the ball bounces off the rim, you have your opponent boxed out, then you move towards the ball. And then you rebound the ball with two hands. You don't want to go at it with just one. You want to grab it with two. When rebounding the ball, you want to keep the ball at chest level after you grab the ball. This is because you don't want to grab the ball and then bring it all the way down to your waist and then someone steal it. You want to keep it nice and high around your chest, neck level, um, even if you wanted to hold it really high if you're a tall person, if people can't uh, jump to get the ball out of your hands. But at least keep it at your chest level after grabbing the rebound. So once again, boxing out is the big thing here when rebounding. Those cues locate your opponent, make contact with your opponent by getting low, using your bottom and your arms, your whole body. Then you want to move towards the ball and you want to grab the basketball with two hands. And when you grab the basketball with two hands, you want to keep it at chest level or higher, okay? So now, uh, my class, you are going to complete the exit slip. Uh, Miss Merrick's class, if you guys are also doing the exit slip, you can complete it. Otherwise, go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Um, so this was the basketball rebounding lesson. And there are a couple other videos and an exit slip for you to do. And then I've attached a couple of drills if you would like to complete those. So everybody have a good day.